northeast Pennsylvania. Two days after Christmas, we got four tip-ups and I'll be jigging with fathead minnows. Looking for perch, bass, whatever comes up. Should be a good one. Let's do it. Here we go. First fish of the day. T-flasher. <clears throat> Okay, that's a nice bluegill. Let's see, is it a keeper? We'll keep it. Be clean, no parasites. That was decent. There we got nice big bluegill. On top of them now. Nice big one. Golden. Smaller. Oh, poich. Well guys, first one on the tip up and it's a doozy. It's a good two and a half pounder right there. I'm gonna get him back in the water though. Me and my bass, sorry, didn't get it on film, but first tip up fish of the year. And he's good. Okay guys, tea time. We've got Mormon tea. Also called Brigham tea. It is wild ephedra viridis covil, or ephedra nevadensis. Now this is not like the ephedra that uh, has been banned in the U.S. since 2004 that people used to use as like a supplement of some kind. So if you know anything about Mormons, um, they got the whole like your body is a temple thing and uh, any drug, even caffeine, is off limits. That is if you're like a hardcore practicing Mormon. So this is not traditional tea. This is a tea substitute with no caffeine. I believe it's found in the southwest US just like the last tea I featured. Um, got a bit of a piney taste but I'll save those tasting notes for later. Uh, that's what it looks like. I'll maybe give you a closer look later. You gotta boil this with the water for like 10 minutes. Um, so give it a nice strong flavor. Anyway, we'll get that going and uh, keep on keeping on. Warm up a little. Yeah. about uh, 10 minutes. Nice big one. 
but I won't take it. Five's five's enough. Seems to have an oily sheen on it for some reason, but we'll ignore that. Okay, Mormon tea, here we go. I love this stuff. It tastes like a horse barn in the best possible way. I don't know how to describe it other than that. It's like sweet hay and like horse sweat. With a little bit of a pininess. I believe this plant species is like a subalpine shrub. And so there's a little bit of a, an evergreen flavor as well. My goodness, this is good. Mormon tea. Thanks, Mormons. You did a bang up job here. Also my wife's favorite tea. All right, so it won't wake me up, no caffeine, but it'll definitely warm me up. And as always, it's that time in the afternoon where, uh, well, I am catching fish, but I'm freezing. So, cool. Tea time. Mormon tea. Check it out. <clears throat> okay guys, I've caught enough bluegills and not too much is happening on the tip-ups, so I'm gonna go big or go home for the, uh, the end here. I have a Rapala Jigging Shad Wrap. I'm gonna put it on, uh, one of these lines and uh, maybe tip it with a minnow head or something and uh, figure eight it down there and maybe we'll have a big ending. Maybe not. It's okay. We're having fun, right? Right. Underwhelming, but fun. 